Hello, uh, this is Dennis Piper, and this tutorial is on how to use your links uh, area of your con your KISS control panel. We're going to be using the site uh, a Brush of Country Crafts again, as you can see here, and we're going to jump to their links page because that's the page we're going to be editing today. And if we look on their links page, we see we got three listings there, and I'm going to go in and delete one here just real quickly to get us back where we need to be. But basically I'm already logged into the control panel which is done at the bottom right hand corner of the page and then you put your username and password in. I'm already logged in so I'm just going to jump over there and here I am at the control panel home page. I'm going to work with links on the left side of the page so I just click there and this shows me a list of all the available links to work with. Uh, it by default will show the top one for you and um, and it has some information here that we can change and add a link to it. As I look through these we'll notice some stuff. The title of this one is Dennis Bowling. That's the text that we actually see on the web page. You see here. Okay. Now I'll jump back to the, the uh, other area. And then this is the actual web page that it goes to. That's called the URL and it has to be written with the HTTP so on and so forth. Um, that's not seen on the web page but um, it is actually where it's going to go. If you'll notice when I walk my mouse over it, if you look in the bottom left hand corner down here in this area right here, when I roll over it, you'll see where it's going to go. Anytime you do a link, whitehorserecording.com down there. Um, so that's kind of a way to tell where the link's going to tell you, or we're going to take you when you click on it. But anyway, that's the link that it's going to, the page it's going to go to. And of course, our websites are set by default. When you click on the link, it opens a new page. So that way, your visitors are not going to be taken away from your website. It'll just open a new window. When they close that window, they'll be back at your website. Okay. Going back to the control panel, there's some informa other information. This list order number tells what order that those are going to appear at on the page. For example, right now Dennis is at 3. White Horse Recording is listed at 10. Oh, 10. So that's going to be further down the list. And then you got CNN News, which is listed at 15. Um, we want to put Dennis Bowling. Let's first just move that one down the list. So I'm just going to go into Edit. And I'm just going to move him down the list. Uh, the highest number now is 15. I'm going to use 20. I use these bigger numbers in case I want to stick something in between something else. I've got you know, 10 spaces there, 10 numbers I can use to stick something in between it on there. And I don't have to change more than one entry at a time. Anyway, I'm going to update that. And then I'll go back to the, the actual web page. And of course, anytime you change something on the server in the database, we've got to refresh the page. So I click that. And you'll notice it's in a different order now. Okay, and clicking those pages like White Horse Recording uh, will open a new window and take you to the White Horse Recording website. Okay, I'm gonna go up here and close the window because we don't need that. All right, and uh, we're back to the page now. I'm gonna delete one and, and add one just to be going through it with you. So I'll go back to the control panel. Um, Dennis Bowling is listed here. I want to delete that. Uh, so I'm just going to click delete. Notice that it doesn't ask me if I want to delete it. It just deletes it. So be sure that you don't click delete unless you're sure you want that puppy to go away. Now this drop box is still showing it in there and that's just the, one of the wonders of Microsoft's programming. Uh, that's something that's built into their their server system. It won't renew automatically. So to renew that information and make sure we're seeing accurate stuff, I'm just going to click on the, the page link again and that's going to re-get the information for the page from the website from the server and now we see it's updated okay so I'm gonna go ahead and add one real quick and we'll just add um, we'll just add Dennis Bowling's in there again just for fun um, that's the text we want to show on the page I can type in this information or an easy way to do this is just jump over to the website and this is Dennis Bowling's website and uh, just at the top up here uh, highlight this area up here all of it and that's the location of his website right click and hit copy and you've copied that text to your clipboard go back to the control panel click inside this area here and then you can right click and paste puts that information in there you can leave that little slash in there but it's really not necessary uh, so I took that one out and uh, this time I'm gonna put it at the uh, I'm gonna put it in between the other two as far as the way it's listed on the page one of those was 10 one of those was 15 so I'm gonna make this in 13 and insert this link Going back to the Brush Country Craft, and I haven't refreshed it since we did the last changes, so I'm refreshing it, and now you'll notice White Horse Recording on top, Dennis Bowling here, and CNN News and other. And that's the basics of adding a, um, a link to your website. Your website's going to look different, of course, but if you have a links page, that's how adding uh, the link will work. And I encourage you to use your links because one of the key factors the search engine uses, um, or not a key factor, but one of the factors they use is how many other pages link to your website. And that the more that link to your website, the higher a lot of times it'll be on the search engine results. 
And of course, uh, I see people get confused all the time with search engines. Search engines, this box up here is the actual address bar. It's like a distinct address for where you're going. This bar over here in your browser and some others that look like it are search search information. So uh, if I type in your know, white horse recording, um, it's not going to take me to White Horse Recording, but it's going to show me a list of all those things. And just so happens, one of my websites, White Horse Recording, shows up. And when I click to it, it's going to take me to this actual URL uh, to that page. And also, my other website is a little different URL. But so search boxes take you to places like Google or wherever you've got to decide to go, and shows you the web pages. And um, uh, this bar appears the actual address of those things. But I see people make that mistake a lot or not know what we're talking about. So I did want to mention that to you. Uh, just a little bonus in here in your links uh, set up and, and, uh, and using your KISS control panel. Uh, look forward to you uh, learning some more stuff on the next tutorials. Thanks.